Christmas concert. Once again, we are able to say the word Christmas because you, the people, have said that's okay. And so thank you very much for that. Uh, we started off with a wonderful piece uh, made famous by Mannheim Steamroller, made, uh, uh, conducted by, actually written by Chip Davis. I had a unique opportunity to um, play a gig with Jackson Berkey and uh, Chip Davis. Wonderful men, and just it was a whole lot of fun. So. That was a great piece. They did an excellent job. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to continue on with a, a little bit more of a classical piece. This one is called Dance of the Reef, Reef Flute, and of course it was written by Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Thank you. 
the next set of two pieces are actually uh, unique and interesting. I decided to make the entire band one giant headache. I mean, a giant percussion section. <laughs> yes, when I was telling my colleagues about, oh yeah, I turned my band into a bunch of percussionists, and they all, they instantly called um, the University of Iowa and tried to get me a room on the seventh floor. So, uh, <laughs> but the, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Um, everybody gets to play something unique and different, and even our bass clarinet player is getting right into the idea of being a percussionist by leaving something back in the music room. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Mason. All right. <laughs> Tell you what, we have uh, so many people to thank. As you know, music programs are, are under attack in this country. Um, and at, at Waco, we are, you are doing an excellent job of keeping the arts alive. You're working hard. When we ask you for fundraising money, you get it. Uh, you give graciously, and boy, do we appreciate that. Um, almost all of the equipment that you see behind me uh, from the, uh, the timpani all the way over has been purchased within the last um, 10 years or so with money provided through the Music Booster fundraisers. Uh, could I have my, I see a lot of Music Boosters. If you don't know who the Music Boosters are, I'm going to have them rise. Would all the members of the mu Music Boosters please rise? Uh, Audra is somewhere over there. Audra Barnhart, Rochelle is over there. There we go. Um, uh, they do, these ladies do so much work, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Audrey, do you want to tell them the big, super exciting news? No, go for it. Oh, hi. You're, you're up there. It's amazing. You're right there. I'm right here. Okay. Um, the, the Music Boosters and um, Rochelle uh, Hillard did a, a very nice Thing. They wrote a grant for to the Iowa Riverboats Foundation and uh, asked for five thousand dollars for us to get a new drumline equipment. Our drumline equipment we purchased um, the year that I first got here, 22 years ago. With one of those deals where the school uh, it was a long-term lease. So we would pay off the lease in three years, and then the final payment was like a dollar. You know, that's how it worked. And so um, we are now, with this $5,000, for next marching band season, we're going to have um, three new snare drums, three new marching bass drums, a new set of quad toms, and um, what else did we get, guys? I forgot. A lot of stuff. I know. Uh, so what that means is uh, we can we can um, boost that portion of the marching band, and also the one of the problems, as you probably saw when you came out for a band extravaganza, is that the junior high and half high school have to share so much equipment that it's really hard for them to play at the same time. So with this, we're able to kind of divide it and conquer a little bit more, make it a little easier for. Uh, them. So thank you Music Boosters and of course the Iowa Riverboat Foundation for that. They've been very supportive in the schools. This is the second grant that Waco High School has received for our, the arts all together. So thank them very, very much. <laughs> Are my percussionists done from running back and forth? Just one mallet, right? Wow. Cheyenne, the one malleted vibraphone player. Can, can you find another one? Salmons? He tried. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. When in doubt, blame the freshman, right? Uh, so can, can we continue on? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so we're going to continue on. The first one we're going to do, a percussion-wise, is called uh, God Rest You Merry Gentlemen, and then we'll have um, Hark the Herald Angels Sing Percussion Style.
every, every single one of those students learned a new instrument in order to uh, perform those two pieces. And wasn't that just amazing? It's really cool. Uh, sometimes this time of year I get to be a little bit of a sentimentalist and really one of the, the tunes that really strikes the chord into my little teeny weedy band director heart um, is this very next tune. Have yourself a merry little Christmas and if there is one message that I think the entire band and I would like to send to you is have yourself a very merry little Christmas. So here is the Waco High School band version uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas. We have been pleased to be with you today. Thank you for coming and supporting live music. Obviously, we're going to have two more incredible groups perform for you. The first one being the high school orchestra, followed by the high school choir. Thank you for supporting the arts at Waco. We certainly do appreciate it. Because of you, we have the best jobs in the school. So thank you. Thank you very much.
Just a short interlude while the orchestra gets set. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon. This is the Junior Senior High Orchestra. We practice together, 7th through 12th graders, and we're going to be playing several selections. First thing I need to do is um, make a change in the program. Two names were left off. You know how you copy and paste? Sometimes it doesn't catch everything. So Tanner Conwell and Becky Lynn are in the second violin section. And I had them on the original list. Somehow they didn't get copied and pasted. So I do want to recognize them. So you can pencil them in if you want to. <laughs> Tanner Conwell and Becky Lynn. I apologize to them. Our first piece is God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. take this time to thank Alicia Pesha, who's going to be playing piano with us for the next couple pieces. And I also want to bring up about the weather. When have we ever had a Christmas concert that we weren't shoveling snow right before? It's been a long time. And I think, I looked at the program, I think it's because Mr. McNamara and I, neither one of us put down, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas or <laughs> let it snow. Maybe that's why we didn't have snow this year, but we're glad that you all came out on this nice day.
Our last piece is like three pieces all put together. It's music from the uh, movie Frozen. And we have two soloists that are going to sing with the music. Kaylee Horak and Hallie Kiss, and I appreciate their hard work. I want to thank Mr. McNamara for helping them with, with their vocals. He's going to be watching you guys. So. <laughs> and um, I also want to thank Bryce Ockin and Joe Mitchell for playing percussion on this. And uh, a couple of violins have a couple really short solos, um, Leah McElhaney and Trilby Freer. And you'll have to listen really carefully because they're really short, but I want to thank them for playing the solos.
And once again, Waco has a crack custodial crew, Mason, Barnhart, and Jonathan Girdley. Thank you, gentlemen. Yes. Yay. While we're waiting for the orchestra members to put away their instruments and come forth, uh, just a few brief announcements. One of the key things we do here at Club Waco is we teach everyone to, you know, cooperate. It's easy to get along. It's easy to share. We need to play well with others. In that view, I was talking to Coach Helmer, and for some reason, he would like to have basketball practice tomorrow. I know. It's like he wants to practice every day. I don't know. So, so I promised Coach that with the help of our fantastic audience here, that we would make sure that Coach would be able to have his basketball practice. So anytime you can donate to us, and if you don't want to donate it to me or the music program, think about Coach, right? <laughs> Just donate a few minutes if you can stack a couple of chairs, uh, put a couple of stands away, roll a piece of percussion equipment, whatever you are psychologically able to handle without too much mess or fuss. You know, if you're psychologically you're going to be damaged, maybe not. But if you can handle it, that'd be great. Okay? It looks like most of my choir over there, actually it's not my choir, it's my evil stepbrother. Uh, he's still going to take over the choir. His name is Tom McNamara. I don't know. Uh, he pronounces it weird. So, are we ready to go, choir? Why do I do this job? All right, so uh, we're going to go right on into the choir. We have four fantastic numbers for you. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I may tell you a little bit uh, along the way, but it's truly been a pleasure working with these ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming out, and let's hear some more music.
next piece, Cantate Domino, is by far the most difficult piece this choir has done all year. And I would grant to say it's the most difficult piece the high school choir has done in quite a few years. Um, it is a big challenge. Not only are we going through several different modes, uh, and I can give you a really long version of modes. Uh, it's like scales, but more ancient. Um, and there are some rhythmic modes as well as scalar modes. Um, these are based on very old. This is been, was printed in uh, about 1600. Uh, so it's a very old piece. It's fantastic. These young ladies and, and gentlemen behind me have been learning a lot about medieval harmonies. It's a great piece. However, because it's so complex, we do need to use the music on this particular song. We hope you enjoy Cantate Domino. As you all know, I'm a band guy. I love band. <laughs> band is truly a, a unique and wonderful art form in and of itself. 
But I gotta tell you, every day that I work with this particular choir, I'm really appreciative that I get to try a different side of my musicianship. Uh, this next piece is the, the beautiful part of vocal music is not only can you sing beautiful music, much like cantate domino, but there's also meanings. You know, there is meaning behind um, band music or orchestral music, but it's much more in the abstract. The, the vocal music is a lot more concrete. And this next, uh, next piece by John Rutter, uh, Look at the World, is really one of those pieces. And I think with a young group like this, these wonderful young men and women behind me, it's one of those pieces. Listen to the message that they are telling you. It's really a fantastic message. Look at the World by John Rutter.
you know, in your life, at least in mine, there are certain people that I, I look forward to working with every single day. And a group of those people happen to be your children. They really are. They're wonderful young men and women. And I mean that in the most positive way possible. You read in the newspaper, you hear about all the awful things about this particular generation. You hear that they're lazy. You hear that they're dumb. You hear that they're not achieving. I'm here to tell you that is false. Mm -hmm. These young people that are standing over here and those young people that were playing over there are doing tremendous work every single day. And they make me want to get up and work with them. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The next person that's very, very high on my list, in fact, I would consider this person my right hand because I could not do this job without our lovely and talented accompanist, Mrs. Kathy Yoder. And finally, I credit where credit is due. It's really you, the parents, that encourage your student to take the arts, to be in the arts. I know for a fact that on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, this was not the most important thing you had to do today. I know this. However, you took your time to support your student, your child, and tell them, you know what, you are important. The arts are important. Having you grow up is important. So thank you very much, parents, for all of your support for supporting my music. Now, this is going to be a little bit of magic. Are you ready for it? Okay. Ladies, find your man. <laughs> this is Let me tell you, this was fun during rehearsal. <laughs> you could tell who was getting along with who, let me tell you. <laughs> the next one is just a fun piece. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for them to work on. And of course, the one of the best parts is, is at this level, the ladies and gentlemen are starting to figure out that maybe the opposite gender is not so bad. Sometimes. <laughs> They're still optimistic, let me tell you that. So we're going to, this is a great piece, baby, it's cold outside. Uh, the, the play between the, the lyrics and the music is fantastic. And these ladies and gentlemen are going to play it up, right? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Baby, it's cold outside. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting live music here at Club Waco, where we have the best students because we have the best parents. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a very, very...